Okay, now then, let's just have a very quick recap of what I've discussed so far about what I reject about your hypothesis or your claim. Okay, you're claiming there is an objective reality. But the problem is, you're introducing another, another um, false dichotomy there. You're making it sound as if there's only two options here. Objective reality versus subjective reality. Instead, what I'm proposing is something close to what you call objective reality, but a unique reality, which you, as I already said, fully agree with. However, what that then means is that reality necessarily must be self-referential, and if it is self-referential, it also feeds back into itself, unless it is absolutely static and unchanging, which we can all agree it doesn't seem to be. But if it is static and if it is not static and unchanging, then it cannot be fully objective either. So if that doesn't make it subjective, it still is only a single reality, but there is this feedback mechanism, there is this self-referential aspect to reality that makes it fuzzy around the edges by necessity. Okay, so when you then proceed to say this implies the mono in monotheism, well, no, it certainly doesn't imply any theism to me. Mono, perhaps, but you might as well just stop at Taoism, if that is where you're going. It makes no sense. The thing that I'm going to address next, however, is probably your biggest sin in your two videos. It's the introduction of what you call complete free will. Now, that is inexcusable, what I think. You simply state the name of that concept. You simply state that there is complete free will, but you make absolutely no attempt to define it. What exactly do you mean by complete free will? Without a definition, that is meaningless. You said it is impossible to establish the nature of this free will. Right. Let's even assume that you're right there, okay? And you swiftly move on. But, what have you done? You've introduced in your argument a concept, a premise that you refuse to define, claiming that it is impossible to define. But if you are basing your argument on a premise that you are refusing to define, how can you make, how can you derive any conclusions from such a premise? That is bizarre and impossible. So that is something that really needed pointing out and that's what this video was about.